training. This is something that is, for the most part, going to be in the ICUs, um, but it will also follow the patients up to the floor. And we want it as an option for you guys to use for your completely dependent, bedridden, need to be two, turned every two hours patients as well. So it's going to come in a system like that. Um, this is the SAGE turn-in position um, by Prevlon. So I believe it's found under Prevlon in the ordering system. But it'll actually be a lot skinnier because this is like shrunk down. They actually shrink wrap it together. So you open it up and it has literally everything you need. Um, you're going to look at the Velcro and want to throw it away. Keep it because this is actually what is going to get stuck to the head of your bed. And this is going to keep this whole thing in place. So for visual purposes, we'll say that's on the other side of the bed. Um, every system comes with its own set of pads, and I'll show you how big the pads are in just a second. But how many times do you throw, you have an incontinent patient, so you put, you say I'm going to put chucks underneath them. One chuck, as we all know, does not cover enough space to keep the bed protected. So we end up using five, six, I've seen eight on one bed, just layered on top of layer on top of layer. That's not good for a patient's skin. One of these, I have per I think, what did we do? Two gallons on these things? We, we were really going to try to see if these things work. And two gallons on these and the new ones that we also have coming can be thrown on these and you will not soil your bed. So tried and true. So we get the system, open it up. There is an incontinence pad already on it. I always say make sure it goes to at least the patient's bottom of their earlobes and then it should come right by their knees because it's pretty big. This is the regular version. We also have a bariatric version. But as you can see, it's basically the same thing as the Prevlon moon boot things, um, the felt on the outside, and then this nice slippery stuff on the bottom. That means we can take all this off on the bottom. So get rid of that. And then this just slides freely on top of this bed without any problem. This will go over the top of the bed, and this will actually over that to hold it in place so your patient doesn't keep sliding down to the end of the bed. Handles on the side, and then you also get a set of wedges. This is what we were talking about. The important thing with these is there's also felt on the bottom and the slippery on the top. Um, what you're going to do is actually, before you turn this patient, you are going to, if I'm going to be facing that way when I'm all done, I'm going to take the corner off of this top thing, or the, the fitted sheet, I'm going to take the corners off, maybe. And then I'm actually going to place these one, that didn't work, one right below the coccyx on my patient, and one right above it. So that totally offloads our sacrum. You should be able to fit your hand basically under your patient's sacrum. So you're going to put one wedge in right here, one wedge in underneath, re-tuck this, and then all you do is literally pull your patient up onto that and they are turned. There's no, there shouldn't be a whole lot of boosting involved with this. You can literally turn a patient yourself in one of these systems, it slides that freely. So if you have those patients, it'll save you a ton of time, a ton of effort. It'll protect their skin even more if they're in bed for that long of time. So if you do have these, um, follow the patients up to the floor. Like I said, um, it's single patient use, so this whole system will follow them if you need more pads. Call either CBICU or, unit, or UHS, I think it's called, and they'll get you more pads up. Um, if the patient needs to continually use it on the floor as well. But everything should be, this gets thrown away after it's soiled, and then this should never be soiled because this covers even further than the pad goes. So, anything I'm forgetting on that one? Well, this is neat. These uh, chucks are neat because it's got like a wicking thing. So, you know, as Amber said, if you pour that two gallons on there after a minute or two, it's practically dry on top. So, it's really pretty neat. We've been looking into getting. Uh, better chucks that provide that, but they are costly, so when you're talking about hospital wide, it's a pretty significant cost, so we're looking into improving our chucks here, too. And I think you get them from Central Supply, yeah. not UHS. Oh, Central, Central Supply. Supply, sorry, thank you.